Thanks, Lauren. Of course, if you do have any breathing issue, any kind of heart problem, you're going to want to take it easy no matter where you go. Give me another view. Like I said, that kind of hazy, mm -hmm. dirty look that Laura was talking about. Yeah, and we're hearing from people who say they can feel the changes in air quality as those smoky skies take over the downtown skyline. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is live at Dorothea Dix Park with how it's affecting visitors there. Joseph. Yeah, Bill, Liz, you know, we've been here most of the day, and let me tell you, you can definitely see that the haze really has not appeared to have let up any. But whether you're here at the park taking pictures or just enjoying the day, you can definitely feel the difference, or at least that's what a lot of people have been telling me. You'll notice they aren't as crisp and clear. Paul Sell was one of the many people we saw taking pictures at Dick's Park today. But several of them say those hazy skies made it difficult to take good photos. Say that God's a Tar Heel and it doesn't have that brilliant Carolina blue. It's more of a muted blue. We haven't taken the first picture yet, but uh, I can tell it's going to impact the the pictures. More importantly, the air quality is making it harder for some people to breathe. Carol Mitchell and Diana Rogers say while it's a nice day, they could definitely feel the difference in the air as soon as they stepped out the door. I have a lot of allergies and right now <clears throat> I feel like I need to cough. <laughs> I'm outside all the time working in the yard and it does make a difference. I, I can't do it for as long anymore. And I spoke with an air quality expert just a few minutes ago who, who was telling me that this will probably be the worst day as far as it when it comes to air quality this time around. But they say that wind and a little bit of rain hopefully here in the next few days will make a big difference. For now, we're live in Raleigh. Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.